resting at the Holiday Inn Resort right on Daytona Beach. I can't wait to view their amazing amenities. Now, Kathy, you're the Director of Sales and Marketing. Can you tell us what sets you apart being a resort? Sure, Katie. Uh, we are actually one of only about 40 resorts in the Holiday Inn portfolio worldwide. And what really truly sets us apart here, not only our location on the Atlantic Ocean, but some of the features and amenities that we offer our guests that, that sets us apart from other Holiday Inns. Uh, one of those would be our kids' features. We are very family friendly here at the Holiday Inn Resort Daytona Beach, and we show it. Uh, we have a kids' splash park, a full recreation activity center for the kids that's all included in the guest room rate, so there's no additional cost to our families that come in. Now can you tell us about your location here on Daytona Beach? Sure, absolutely Katie. We are located kind of right what I like to classify as smack in the middle of everything but away from everything. So we're close enough to really the core area of Daytona Beach where we can accommodate our citywide groups and with easy access to our convention center, but we're also at the quieter end of the beach. So it affords people the opportunity to really feel like they have their own slice of the beach here in Daytona. Uh, one of the other things that truly sets us apart from uh, some of our other Holiday Inns in the portfolio is this restaurant here. We're in H2O Bar and Grill, and it is our three-meal restaurant. We feature breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day, happy hours in the evenings, uh, great indoor and outdoor seating as well. I heard that you have live entertainment and you have fire pit outside. Can you tell us about some of that? We have a fantastic pool deck. We have two fire pits outside, and we do offer live entertainment here in the lounge every Friday and Saturday night. Um, so that's something that's unique to us. So a little bit of adult fun along with the kids. That sounds like so much fun. Are we invited? Absolutely. Just give us a call. We're at 386-255-0921 or on the web at hiresortdaytona.com. Come see us. I'm about to go inside Angel and Phelps Chocolate Factory and I can't wait to take their tour and try some samples. Come inside with me. I'm with Chuck Smith, one of the owners here at Angel and Phelps Chocolate Factory. Now there's so many smells. What are all of your different varieties and flavors? Well, we make over 300 types of candies. We make all kinds of candies, fudges, caramels, creams. We even make our own marshmallows, which are one of my favorites. And we also do a lot of molded items, novelties, chocolate seashells, beautiful conch shells, sand dollars, all kinds of different things. Our, one of our best sellers is a chocolate foot, and we even write on it Daytona Beach. <laughs> That's so neat. And I saw that you do tours, too. I saw a lot of people going through that. It looked like so much fun. Yeah, we do over, over 200,000 people a year take the tour. It's free, and there's free samples at the end, and a good time is had by all. You have small batches to keep everything fresh. Can you tell us about that? Well, we make the way I was taught. Uh, we make candy the old-fashioned way, small batches. I don't add preservatives to the candies. Don't even know how. So we make our own candy here, uh, fresh every day. So that's really the key, the ingredients, the types of chocolate that you use, where the cocoa beans come from, all those different uh, ingredients that we use. And of course, you know, I like to think it's the skill of the candy maker too. So. And this is Hannah Smith, the other owner. Now tell us how we can all reach you. Well, you could reach us uh, two ways. You could call us at 1-800-969-2634 or at the, the website angelphelps.com. We're at the Atlantic Center for the Arts, nestled away in the woods here, and it's the perfect place to study if you're artistic. So let's go on a tour. I'm with Jim, co-executive director here at the Atlantic Center for the Arts. Can you tell us about some of your programs and what you're all about? Atlantic Center for the Arts was founded in 1982 as basically a research and development center for the arts and we've been running residencies for the last 35 years. We've had over 150 residencies, worked with over 350 master artists and residents, and served up to 3,500 associate artists and residents from around the world. And you're kind of hidden here in the woods. Is there a reason for that? Originally, our founder, Dora Sleeper, was an av avid artist and environmentalist, and she chose this site specifically for its beauty and the connection with the original Florida nature. And I know that you don't just do painting, you have dancing. Can you tell us about some of the different things you, you provide here? Absolutely. Really the program was founded to be multidisciplinary in that we work with the visual, literary, and performing arts during residencies. So when artists come here from around the world, they're really here to work on their craft, to do research and development, as well as explore their discipline. But really what makes it interesting is that each of these disciplines are represented in a residency 
And so there's different artistic disciplines here at the same time, allowing for cross collaboration and fertilization between dif disciplines. And you get a lot of collaborative activities and a lot of opportunities to push your thinking and your craft forward. Can you tell us how we can get a hold of you guys? Absolutely. You can log on to our website at AtlanticCenterForTheArts.org or phone us at 800-393-6975. I just arrived at the Peabody Daytona Beach and I can't wait for the show tonight. Let's go get some tickets. This is Helen Rager, Peabody Director. Can you tell us what makes you so special? Sure. The Peabody Auditorium is a very special place because we've been here since 1919, which is a long time. And also we're just down the block from the beach. So we're very close to restaurants and, and a great vacation spot. Um, also, the Peabody was specifically designed to have great sound and sight lines so that you can see and hear from no matter what seat you're in. So it's really a great place to come see a show. And what famous artists have you had here? Um, we've had Ro Rachmaninoff in, in, in his day, um, also people like Elvis Presley, Tony Bennett, Willie Nelson has been here, and we also have a great Broadway and Daytona Beach season, which um, we feature all kinds of shows and have for many years. So what can members of the community do to get involved here? Uh, members of the community can, can join us as one of our members for as low as $50. They can also become a Broadway season subscriber. If they want to volunteer, they can become an usher with us. Or, uh, you know, they can just come in and visit us and support our shows. So tell us what shows can we expect this season? Well, we've got comedians already, Lewis Black coming and Jerry Seinfeld. We have a whole Broadway season, including Mamma Mia. And um, so we're going to have lots of shows, a special Valentine's night with Frankie Avalon. And the U.S. Navy Band and Sea Chanters Chorus is coming to help us celebrate on our anniversary. What is your contact information if somebody wants to get in touch? Uh, PeabodyDaytona.com or 386-671-3460 and you can call our box office. I'm at the Daytona Beach Kennel Club and Poker Room where they have a winner at every turn. Let's go inside and check out the action. Dom, you're the Poker Room Director. Can you tell us what makes your Poker Room unique? Well, Katie, we have 55 tables here and we have some of the best tournaments. We have pros that come in every month. We have pros like such as Greg the Fossil Man, uh, Raymer, Chris Moneymaker, Phil Helmut to be here and Vanessa Russo. So what are some of your upcoming events? Oh, we have an exciting event April 27th here at the Daytona Beach Kendo Club. It's a deep check charity event featuring Phil Helmuth, Greg Merson. These guys are WSOP championship uh, bracelet winners. And we just started with our own poker tournament called the Great American Poker Tournament. It's gonna be a series of events that's run throughout the year. And we're, we're correlating it with the Great American Race uh, with the Daytona 500. Uh, them, that's going to be run like in January. Now this is Fred, the director of Mutuals and Simulcasting. Can you tell us about the history? Sure. Uh, we've been part of the community for over 66 years. Uh, we opened our doors in 1948. Uh, we moved to this modern uh, state-of-the-art facility in 2008. So tell me about your simulcasting. Sure. We have over uh, 300 uh, LED flat screen TVs throughout the building. We have a Las Vegas style simulcast room where you can wager on thoroughbreds, harness, greyhounds, and high life from all across the country. In fact, we send out our live signal all around the world. And how can somebody reach you guys? We can be reached at uh, DaytonaGreyhound.com. Our phone number is 386-252-6484. We're checking in at the Hampton Inn Daytona Beach Front. They're rated number one on TripAdvisor, so let's go find out why. I'm with Kim, the Director of Sales. Now, congratulations on being rated number one on TripAdvisor. Thank you, and thank you for being here. Now, what do you think made you get to that point? Well, we've got a great team of staff here, and we definitely take every guest to heart and what they have to say, and we use everything they recommend and try and use it to make our property better. We've got great rates, we've got a lot of stuff to offer that the rest of the hotels on the beach don't. Um, some stuff that's not really traditional Daytona and I, I really think it makes a difference. And you're located right on the beach. Can you tell me what there is around here to do? Well, absolutely. We're directly oceanfront, so you've got endless possibilities there on the beach from paddle boarding to jet skiing to deep sea fishing. We've got a beautiful pool deck with our uh, oceanfront pool, jacuzzi, fire pit, and a brand new tiki bar we just opened last month. Can you tell me about your different rooms? Um, we have several different room types here. 95% of our hotel is all oceanfront, with primarily two queen beds in each. 
all have a private balcony, um, but we do have on each floor, we have one city facing uh, studio that has two queen beds with a pull out sofa. And then we have our corner units. One side of the hotel, those corner units have one king bed with an ocean view, not ocean front. And then the other corner of our hotel, which is our north side, has two queen beds. They have a fully unobstructed view of, of the water, but it's just to the side rather than direct on. But all still with private balconies and all very large, beautiful rooms. And if someone wanted to stay here, how could they contact you? Well, of course they can call us at 386-944-2570 on our website at daytonabeachbeachfront.hamptonin.com. I'm here at the Ohana Luau dinner show and I can't wait, it sounds really exciting. So let's go see some flame throwing and some dancing. Now Chuckalo, I absolutely loved your performance tonight. How long has this show been around? The Polynesia show has been around since 1965. Uh, so next year will actually be our 50th anniversary. So yeah, it's exciting. To, ha to know that something like this has been around for 50 years in Daytona Beach. So. What would you say are your favorite parts? Gosh, personally, you know, I do the fire knife, but my personal favorite is the audience participation. We like people to, you know, get up and dance and do the hukilau. We like to teach the men how to shake it Tahitian style. And then, uh, of course, I love the fire knife. So that's kind of, you know, those, I think those are the ones. Of course, don't forget, it's the beautiful girls in the numbers. It's, it's mesmerizing to watch, so I have to pay attention to my guitar. So what all do you have to eat here? Goodness, I mean, I like to dig in. I, I uh, actually love the Kalua pork, very nice. Uh, we have a ginger mahi-mahi, that's really good. And a coconut rice, we've got a pineapple chicken, good stuff, so yeah, absolutely. I do it all. And from the islands of Hawaii, Aloha! So what do you think makes your show unique here on Daytona Beach? Well, in Daytona Beach, we're literally the only uh, Polynesian show from Jacksonville to uh, Orlando, and uh, we bring a, a load of entertainment. It's a taste of Polynesia, Hawaii, Tahiti, Mari, Samoa, to Daytona Beach, across the whole world, you know? So it's when people come here, they can enjoy something that is way in the Pacific. Now, how can people get in touch if they want to come to a show? You can go to our website at myohanaluau.com. The number is 386-255-5411. Aloha. I'm your host Katie Gover with Out and About Southwest Florida at the first oceanfront Hyatt in the world and you are more than welcome to come take a tour with me. I'm speaking with Andrew Wright, Director of Sales here at the Hyatt. Thank you for having us today. Well, thank you guys for coming by. I appreciate it. Now, I hear that you're the first oceanfront Hyatt in the world. Can you tell us about your amenities here? Definitely. Uh, we are the first oceanfront Hyatt place in the world. Uh, very exciting to be breaking that ground for the company of Hyatt. And some of our free amenities include complimentary hot breakfast, complimentary Wi-Fi, and complimentary parking as well. Uh, we have fresh food available 24 hours a day. It's not complimentary, but any time of the night you can get a fresh meal here. Well, now what is there to do around the hotel? Now, on site here, we do have a nice oceanfront pool. We also have an oceanfront hot tub. We also have two full liquor bars here uh, available till midnight. Um, and then not only here at the hotel, Daytona Beach has a lot to offer around the area. We have historic Ponce Inlet just 10 minutes from our hotel, the Super Bowl of Racing, which takes place every February, the Daytona 500. The Daytona Speedway is only about 10 minutes from our hotel as well. Uh, downtown Daytona Beach, a nice five minute ride up the road. So not only do we have a lot of fun stuff to do here on property, there's a lot of fun stuff to do in the area. Now I hear Daytona is a party town, but is it also good for the children? It is. Um, there is a stigma about Daytona Beach, and the beautiful thing is, and the reason that I came over here, was that it's changing. It is a family-friendly town. Um, properties like ours, um, like other new properties coming into the area that really cater to families, have the free breakfast, have the free amenities. Um, it really is budget-friendly for these families, and then on top of that, you have the great stuff around the area here to do. Now, how can someone go about booking a room? They can go online at Hyatt Place, Daytona Beach Oceanfront.com. You can always give us a call at 386-944-2010. I'm at the Plaza Resort and Spa. They have the largest spa in Volusia County. I can't wait to show you guys around. Hi, David. Thanks so much for having us. Thank you for being here, Katie. Now tell me, why do so many people come to Daytona Beach and the Plaza Resort and Spa? The main reasons our guest comes to the Plaza Resort and Spa is the view. Another reason is the quality of our rooms here at the Plaza Resort and Spa. So Amy, I heard that you have the largest spa in Volusia County. Can you tell me about your services? Absolutely. We are the largest spa. We're 15,000 square feet. We're the largest European spa in the area. 
Um, we have great services. We have a couple's massage room. They can get couple's massage. Um, we have great facials. We have hydrotherapy tubs, which is great for after the massage that works on acupressure points. We have two Vichy shower rooms. We also have jacuzzi and a steam room, which is free with any service as well. Now, Don, I know that the plaza has 33,000 square feet of banquet and meeting space. Can you tell us what events you hold? Pretty much anything, Katie. Uh, you know, when you have that volume of space, and particularly when it's as flexible as ours is, we can do a corporate dinner for six in our private dining, or we can do a big banquet for 900. Uh, we've done trade shows here. We certainly do beautiful weddings, certainly with all the trappings of the ocean and the, the building itself. Uh, corporate events, associations, Smurf related, uh, social events. We believe are the top professionals on the beach. Uh, they can pull all the details together and make sure the event goes off flawlessly. Now, if someone would like to hold an event or stay here, how can they reach you guys? Uh, by phone or via our website. Our website is the Plaza Resort and Spa. Dot com. Our phone number is area code 386-255-4471. I'm at a Daytona Beach Resort where every room is equipped with a full kitchen and they'll even fill your refrigerator before you get here. So let's go inside and check it out. I'm with Michael, the general manager of the Daytona Beach Resort. Now can you tell us about your facilities? We are a uh, all-suite hotel located uh, directly on the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, all of our suites are either, con we're a condominium style hotel. All of our suites are either studios or one bedrooms. We're fully equipped kitchens with full-size refrigerators. Additionally, on the property here, we have got uh, outstanding recreational facilities, three outdoor pools, which include uh, two adult uh, heated swimming pools and a heated kiddie pool with water features, uh, one indoor pool, which is heated, along with two uh, uh, jacuzzis, uh, we have an indoor sauna. Our fitness center is perfect for uh, uh, maintaining your uh, uh, health regimen while you're uh, while you're with us. And then, additionally, on property, we have uh, our Terra Aqua Day Spa. Can you tell us about your location here in Daytona? Thank you. Uh, we are located uh, on the north side of Daytona, um, just uh, south of the Ormond Beach uh, area. Uh, we're located across from the Bel Air Plaza, which is uh, uh, very convenient for shopping. And how can viewers get in touch with you to book a room? Thank you. Uh, our website is our best uh, uh, option, which is very easy, DaytonaBeachResort.com. Or if you'd like to give us a call direct, our 800 number is 800-654-6216. I'm at Daytona State College where students stay closer and go further and they have degrees from marine science to business. I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Carol Eaton, the president here at Daytona State College. Thank you so much for having us today. Oh, we're delighted to have you on campus today. Now, what would you say you're best known for aside from, of course, your beautiful campuses? Yes, of course, we do have a beautiful location. We're just minutes away from the world's most famous beach. Daytona Beach, and of course our neighbors is the NASCAR International Speedway. Besides that, we of course are well known for many of our alum who have gone on to do great things. We have alumni who have won Pulitzer Prizes, they've actually been called up to pitch for the Yankees, they've started their own music group, and more than that, we know that it's our current students who know us for the wide variety of highly affordable programs that we have. Now, can you go into detail about your different programs? Beginning with the idea that our programs are designed to meet the students where they are, in spite of what their background might be or what other education they've had before they come here. Our certificate or one-year programs in areas such as automotive or air conditioning and manufacturing, which is really growing in this area right now, we have two-year associate degree programs in high-demand workforce fields such as our nursing program our business program, and then certainly hospitality, management, and culinary, which is really so important for this tourism area. We also have a very well-known school of photography, which by the way is celebrating its 50th year, and it's associated with the internationally known Southeast Museum of Photography. Now how would a potential student get more information about the college? Well there are probably two very easy ways. First of all would be our website, which would be daytonastate.edu or to call our admissions office at 
3059. This morning, I'm going to take you into the Marine Science Center. I'm so excited to see what they have to offer, and I hear they even rehabilitate sea turtles. Michael, you're the director of the Marine Science Center. Can you share with us the history? Uh, yes, the Marine Science Center was uh, opened in June of 2002, and since that time, uh, we have had over 650,000 visitors. Uh, so we are a very popular place, a great place for families that can come and explore the marine environments of Volusia County through our exhibits and our aquariums, uh, also our sea turtle hospital and our bird hospital. Now, Melissa, you're the manager here of the turtle hospital. Can you tell us typically the process of when you get one in and what happens? Yes, we treat uh, over sometimes over 100 to close to 200 turtles a year here at our facility, and we get them for various reasons. We have right now quite a few uh, injured with boat propeller injuries. We also get turtles that have swallowed fishing hooks or been entangled in fishing line. So depending on the extent of their injuries, we're going to get the turtle in, do an assessment, uh, do any kind of medical procedures, surgical uh, repairs that we need to do. And eventually when the animals are strong enough to make it down to the water, we'll bring them down to the pools here. Yeah, can you tell us about the bird hospital? The Bird Hospital is a, a wonderful adjunct to what we do at the Marine Science Center because we're having an opportunity to take care of the sick and injured birds that are found throughout this region. And we get in between 1,200 and 1,500 birds a year into our Bird Hospital. Now, if somebody wants to come visit you guys, how would they contact you? The Science Center can best be found right on the internet at marinesciencecenter.com or you can reach us by phone at 386-304-5545. I'm with Julie Mathis of East Coast Premier Properties, the owner actually. Thank you for having us today. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. And can you tell us about Hammock Island? Yes, Hammock Island is located about 20 minutes north of uh, Daytona Beach. It's a barrier island located south of St. Augustine, about the same distance, about 20 minutes. And it is a full barrier island, full of hammock oak trees, beautiful luxury uh, subdivisions, lots of vacation rentals up there, fantastic restaurants, and just an enclave of artists throughout the area. Now tell me about Hammock Island. I heard you have vacation rentals there as well. We do have vacation rentals there. We have a lot on Hammock Island. We have uh, short term, long term, we have condos, we have magnificent large um, custom homes that you can rent for a week, a day, a month. Um, we have lots of real estate up there. We have the Beach Haven subdivision, which does do some short term rentals and home to some premier builders such as Ruttenberg Homes, which they are the Florida's largest uh, custom home builder. And we have art galleries that you can enjoy and fantastic restaurants in the area too, while having the famous Coquina Beach, which you can walk along and find shells, sea glass, shark's teeth. It's just a beautiful area. And I heard that it's Key West style. It is Key West style. You have a lot of Key West vernacular up there. People drive in from all over the state of Florida to see Beach Haven because it's kind of a unique subdivision. Now, if somebody wants to view one of these amazing properties, how can they reach you? They can go on our website, eastcoastpremierproperties.com. They can request a welcome package. They can give me a call at 386-503-0973. And I'll be glad to talk to you about our wonderful barrier island, Hammock Island. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Crystal of the Daytona Beach Symphony Society. I'm here with Crystal, the Director of Marketing. Now can you tell us how the Symphony Society got started? Sure, I'd love to. In 1952, a group of music enthusiasts headed by the publisher of the news journal, uh, the late Julius Davidson, started a group and they understood that a good economic vitality meant that you had to have a strong cultural base. So they started the Symphony Society as a way to bring wonderful orchestras, operas, and dance companies to our community knowing that it would help the economy thrive. And what do you think makes you guys unique? There are several things that make us unique. However, probably the biggest thing is the fact that we only bring Class A orchestras here, which means you get the best of the best from around the world coming right here to Daytona Beach. Now, can you tell us what we can expect for your upcoming season? Katie, we are so excited about the upcoming season. It's our 63rd season, so we have been here a long time, and we really have a fantastic lineup for everyone. Starting on November 21st, we have the Russian State Orchestra, and it's really a fabulous orchestra that's going to be have a piano soloist and it really phenomenal. We also are going to have the London Royal Philharmonic, so for those folks who 
miss the London Symphony Orchestra being in our community, we're going to have a taste of that back with the London Royal Philharmonic. We're also going to have the Danish National Symphony. We're going to have an opera highlights, a tribute to Pavarotti, and a beautiful ballet. We're going to have Cinderella by the Russian National Dance Company. That sounds great. And how can people get tickets? There are several ways to do that. You can reach us directly on our website and purchase tickets at dbss.org. You could call us at our office at 386-253-2901. And you could go directly through Ticketmaster to get tickets as well. Today we're at Midwest Motorcycle of Daytona. Are you ready to go for a ride? Now this is Ed, also known as Heavy, and you're the owner here at Midwest Motorcycle Daytona. Can you tell me a little bit about this company? Sure. We started in 1994 um, with my partner Dan Johnson in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, now we have a dealership here in Daytona Beach, Myrtle Beach, and Sturgis. Um, we're a rental company, motorcycle sales, scooters and bicycle rentals. And what would you say makes people come and buy from you versus a bigger dealer? Well, we're a family owned and operated business. Um, the most important thing that I could express to customers when they come here is to be treated fairly, be treated honestly. Um, we keep a small shop atmosphere here. Yeah, and you're located right on the beach. I love your location. Yeah, we're conveniently, all our stores are very conveniently located. Um, the most important thing we've always decided is to have an area that's conveniently located. One of the things about uh, purchasing a motorcycle at Midwest Motorcycle in Daytona here is that we don't have any upselling, any hard pressure sales. Anybody who's interested in purchasing a motorcycle, they can come in and look around. Because we have a rental business, you're welcome to try out any of the bikes for 24 hours before you make your purchase. And um, I find that people get to ride the bike around for the afternoon, go home, inspect it in their garage, go home and sleep on it with no pressure, and they come back and always make the purchase here. That sounds great. And how can people reach you? They can reach us at 386-257-6265. That's our telephone number. Our website is Midwest Motorcycle Daytona. Can we go for a ride? Yes, we can. Let's go. Right now we're visiting with DOTS and we're going to learn about their transportation services. So let's get the show on the road. Now George, you're one of the owners of DOTS. Can you tell me about the history of your company? We started, the, the company was started 32 years ago providing uh, shuttle service from the Daytona area to the Orlando airport and back. And since then we have grown to where we've gone from the shuttle service into motor coaches and minibuses to provide transportation to schools, churches, special events. We target in on Bike Week, uh, Speed Week, all of the local flavor of Daytona. And why do you think so many people choose you? We're dedicated to service to our customers and safety. We have an excellent Department of Transportation safety record, no blemishes whatsoever and we cater to top-notch service for our customers. Now where did DOTS come from? DOTS is shortened from Daytona Orlando Transit Services Inc. and we are very unique in our customer service, our on-time schedules, our courteous and polite drivers. We cater to a lot of the senior groups and we want to give them the care and respect they deserve when utilizing our services. Now this bus smells brand new. Can you tell me what it has on it? This is our new 213 uh, Prevo H345, which is equipped with 110 volt out power outlets, Wi-Fi, seat belts, all the latest safety features and accommodations for our clients. And how do people reach you? Best way is our 800 number, 800-231-1965, or you can reach us on the web at dotsdaytona.com. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much for being with us. Look forward to seeing you ride our shuttles.